are, um, are heartfelt. You know, this is my second second time being here at this time of year. I come here every year uh, for uh, for his yard side July 20th, but this particular year was is exceptionally special because uh, we came from Poland and out of Auschwitz. We had brought his uh, his Sefer Torah, and uh, and we brought it back here at Israel. And uh, tomorrow we'll be marching the living one more time from the uh, city hall to uh, the Kotel. But uh, to be here among so many beautiful people that uh, we understand come here for all the soldiers, but as a bereaved parent and seeing this and experiencing this and having the opportunity to, uh, to uh, just be embraced and loved by so many people, it's just, uh, it's, it's the best. When you're mentioning an embrace, you can't uh, remember the, the morning how the people just came and, and paid their condolences when you were here after he was killed, right? The, yeah. Thousands. Well, yes, you know, at his funeral, there was, uh, I'm told, 30,000 people. To me, it was a blur, but uh, uh, to, uh, to be, you know, just have that kind of appreciation and, and respect for, for the lone soldier, my son Max Steinberg, was a beautiful thing. Uh, we learned then that Max was not alone, not alone, and we're not alone. And that's Israel, and we appreciate it and, uh, and love it very much. Being a mourning father uh, to a lone soldier, far away from here, how is that on a day-to-day -day basis? How much is he part of your, your life? Well, um, it, it, there's a new norm, okay? You know, uh, once Max was killed, our life it was turned upside down. Uh, it will never be the same. We are very involved in, uh, in Jewish causes. We are on board of directors of an organization called Families of Lone Soldiers, which is supporting families like ours both bereaved as well as, uh, you know, more importantly now, uh, families of uh, soldiers that are here and their parents are in the United States and, and in other countries. And so, uh, you know, we get strength by, by doing good. Max did good and uh, we felt that uh, we needed to do something more than just uh, roll down and uh, lay down. And, uh, and so we've, we've risen up and, and we're doing our best to, uh, to support Israel. And in a few hours, Fireworks, happiness. Are you ready for that transition? Well, the first time was crazy, right? Uh, didn't understand it. Uh, I, uh, I couldn't celebrate it. I, I, this will be my second time going through the transition. But my wife has done it for the last four years, and this will be her fifth. And uh, I can tell you that we, uh, we get it now. We, uh, we appreciate the, the wisdom and the thought behind it when it was, when it was designed. Uh, and um, it's, it's, it's really, uh, I'm actually looking forward to it.